everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooklyn, and please stay for at least five minutes, get the vibes going. If not, I bid you good evening. For those that are staying, what's up? Welcome back. Another boxy charm bid it is. Due to the holidays and the way that the mail has been processing slowly, I feel like I've gotten one, two, three boxy charms now in a month, and which I have, but one was like a basic and one was like another basic plus the Lux starter kit. Now this one, which is January 2021's boxy charm. And I think this is the basic. I wanted to cancel the basic and just keep getting the premium. But every time I would go to cancel the basic, they're like, are you sure you want to lose? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I'm still on, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know what to do if I should just, I, if, if I should be able to. I mean, I've been meaning to look into it more. I can. I'm sure I'll find an answer if I snoop around, but I was like, oh my god. So now I'm getting a basic, which I think is this one that I just got yesterday. I think they're still going to be shipping out the premium boxes here, here soon. Sorry for the excessive BoxyCharm videos. I know by the time you watch it, like, it's too late to get this particular box, but it's something you can look forward to, get an idea of how things work, what things look like, it's and misses, pros and cons. I'm here to help. Oh, coffee's so good. This box was a little thicker, which had me confused. <laughs> I guess because of its contents. Do we have a theme this month? Fresh start. Fresh start start with the Violet Voss All of You Forever eyeshadow palette. And I already went through this box, but I haven't swatched anything, so I'm excited. So here it is. Another palette. Okay, so here is the palette out of the box. And the first thing I noticed was how blank the, bo the back of the palette is, but I guess because everything is on the box. I don't know. But when you throw the box away, you're going to be like, eh... When does this expire? Oh, in 24 months. Like, who goes by that, right? So, let's open her up. And here they are. When I saw the name before I opened it, I was like, oh man, I hope there's a lot of greens in there. And really, there's not, which made me kind of sad. I love these shadows, though. So, I love the mattes already. Like, those are, like, calling my name. And then, of course, there's these shimmers. Those, I mean, I can work with. They're very neutral, except for this this one that stands out. That's like the only one that has green. Unless you want to count that one, which is called Olive Me. So, Olive Me and Olive Glow are like the only ones that... <laughs> I dug my nail in there a little bit. Are the only ones that say green, you know, or like olive. The rest are just neutral shades, and I'm all for it. I mean... This is a palette I can take when I travel somewhere. Like, I travel a lot, but it's like all your your shimmers and your neutrals and your mattes in one, in one palette. Can't wait to try a look with this. For this box, just to remind you, $25 a month for the basic. This palette alone is $34. Next is, and I was excited about this when I saw the sneak peeks on Instagram. Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. Mm, pharmacy! I was like, yes, please. So here it is, full-sized. Now, it does say exclu made exclusively for BoxyCharm, so I guess this isn't in the market unless it's under another name. Under a different name because I don't really use Pharmacy. I would like to, but whew, prices. And I bet it's one of those delicious formulas that, you know, a little goes a long way and it does its job. I'm looking forward to it. This alone is glass. <laughs> I gotta be gentle because my, my <laughs> table is glass over here. That is $38. And this is a 50 milliliter, 1.7 fluid ounces. You know, the glass is always deceiving. You can see right here. <laughs> the product's like way up here. 
and then in there it's not even like full full there's like a big old air bubble but you know what if it works <laughs> next is the avant skincare biphase hyaluronic acid rejuvenating micellar water now this look at that looks like mermaid water i see you have to mix it before you use it but it looked like there was straight up glitter in there i was like but it's just really shiny oil. It's gonna be interesting to try. I'm not gonna try this today, but you will hear about it again if it if it's worth mentioning. I have the micellar water by Simple. The brand is called Simple. So I know that's very gentle and like plant-based and stuff. So I'm scared to like just hit this on there after I've changed my skincare like literally three days ago. So I'm gonna introduce this slowly. It looks promising. <laughs> it's cruelty free, so we're gonna give it a try. We'll try it out eventually. Wow. It smells good. It's very, very fragrant. If you don't like fragrancy skincare, then you might not like that. It smells good. It smells like, like fresh cut greens with a little lemon. <laughs> Moringa and papaya. The micellar water. $90. $90. $90. You know when you feel like you got away with something and nobody noticed so you don't know if you should confess or like slowly walk away? That's happened to me a lot of times. But some were just because my anxiety is like, bitch. <laughs> they... they they mark you for the wrong one and you got it for cheaper you better tell them or like something but it was actually a good deal like a sale going on but in your head you're like no way it's too good to be true that's kind of like this product right now like did they mean to put this in here continuing seraphine botanicals apple plus balm glow lip mask balm balm b-a-u-m-e cute little packaging look at that box printed with soy ink what it's a nice little list if you want to pause it and check it out this is cute so here is the actual packaging that's so cute this is for overnight hope it's not too thick i can just put a little bit on now can also be used during the day as a tinted lip glow Simply slather onto lips alone or dab over any lipstick application. Made exclusively for BoxyCharm. Again, I don't know if this is on the market, if it's made exclusively for BoxyCharm. If you recognize this tube or this packaging, then maybe it's on the market as another name. Oh, that smells weird. Like, good, but weird. Like, it smells really good. Feels nice. Right when I was getting low on a lip products, that is on the market for $25. Last but not least, the, I don't know if I am saying this wrong, but I'm just going to say it as it looks, Queen Studio Dragon Duo. It's spelled Q-V-E-E-N. So I was like, but I guess they want the V to look like the U to be different. As long as I'm saying it right, you know. So here's the box. What? Okay, it's like a little kit here. Eyeliner. There's two eyeliners in here. By the look of her wing, I would assume some liquid liner. Little dragons on the packaging. Cute. It has a little shaky thingy, which I love. The ones that don't, it's like, mm mm. The stuff's just settling in there. Let's try it. I'm not bad not bad then it came with a black eyeliner wax pencil so nice Ooh, we love eyeliners <laughs> that is all for this box very interesting goodies use am and pm Formulated with ingredients known to hydrate and reduce a shine. Here comes the train. Oh, it's cold. I'm not to mess.
mess up my eyebrows. Very fragrancy. I'm waiting to see if it's gonna go away. I'm really sensitive with scents. It's weird. Like if it's just there all day, it starts to get to me. <laughs> Feeling a little plump. That's good. You can still hear the train because I just don't have time for that right now. I'm gonna prime my eyes so that I can try out the eyeshadow. So going in with this palette, I'm probably gonna focus around the mattes. I'm gonna use Wishful as a transition shade. So that one right there. Let's try it out. You know what I didn't do? I'm gonna put this brush down. I'm gonna swatch some of these for y'all because I didn't even do that. What's wrong with me? Not crazy pigmented. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because you can build it up. So it's all about the formula. And then I'm going to do some shimmers. Those feel buttery for sure. So there's those three. So those are a few swatches for y'all. Now I'm going to continue with the eye look. Which I'm going into this blind. Don't know what I'm going for. Might end up a mess. But at least I can tell y'all if it's a yay or nay. I'm going to go in with Infatuated. So it's going to be that one right there. And I'm going to go deep in the crease. which is the lightest I'm just gonna blend right here in this top top corner of the eye top area kind of highlighting and blending and I kind of bring it down and soften all that next I'm gonna go in with charmed which is that dark chocolatey if it's getting windy outside, I'm going to go in with a flatter brush and just pop it right here in the outer corner. I'm going to highlight this area right here with Wink again, brighten it up. I'll go in with Lovebird, and then behind it I'll go in with Olive Glow. I don't know if I should use a brush or my fingers. I'm gonna hit the very outer corner. that palette down for now and then move it on to the face. I'll be back with my full face done and then I will use the eyeliners. And we're back. My face is on. No bronzer or blush yet. I'm gonna add some color to my under eye. This dry weather has me so dry in my nose. So I guess I'm gonna go in with the uh, that transition shade, wishful, and just loosely blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with Charm, the dark, dark, dark brown one, and do the outer corner right down here. Maybe like halfway, halfway through. I'm gonna go in with the Love Bird. Ew, there's like a big old piece of pelusa. Highlight that, stamp it on. And then with Olive Glow, towards the end. I look so ghostly. What's next? Oh yes, yes. 
the liquid liner. So far so good. Okay, enough is enough. The pencil liner, I almost forgot. Just focusing on the outer corner. Y'all, my eyebrows look so uneven right now. It's crazy how like one little thing can fix it. Okay, that's a little better. But I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is what I decided to do with my hair. I don't know what to do with my bangs anymore. They're going through this awkward stage. So starting with this palette, it's beautiful. It's very buttery, easy to blend, not super pigmented when you go and dip the brush in it, but that's good because it's buildable. Something I would use for every day. And I've never had a Violet Boss pro product, but I do now. Uh, next is this pharmacy daily greens i did try it it was it didn't stay like wet soft <laughs> i don't know how to explain it like this dried very well and probably use like a mask a night mask over that if you wanted to something that's going to be very sticky and moisturizing this is more like a daily a daily thing which i really love uh, this lip stuff love it the smell I left my lips feeling nice like um kind of like um it's not thick but I didn't like put a lot on I mean it recommends you put a lot on when you do overnight but I barely just dabbed it on I like it though I am wearing lipstick over it those eyeliners great uh, the wax one great this one not too much of a struggle hopefully it wears fine um, I was able to do sharp lines and all that. I mean, you can see my glasses are in the way, but I like it. And then this I didn't try yet, but like I said, you will hear about it if it does a miracle. I'm excited to try it. I just want to give it a couple days for all the new skincare to kind of kick in. That way, if I do have a reaction, I'll kind of know more or less what it is. <laughs> but yeah, that is all for my January 2021 boxy charm box that is the basic box i will be following up with the premium box the january premium box and then i don't know from there i guess i'll decide if i want to stay on boxy charm or not because i mean once i accumulate enough makeup i'm like uh <laughs> i have too much so yeah i'll probably be doing like separate videos using these products just to get more of a feel for them let you know in those videos if they've been working out or not stuff like that and yeah so if you made it this far please like and subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you all in my next video peace oh my god there's like some huge ass trucks passing today that's gross <laughs> oh. what i want some chocolate eat some what some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. You're